Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting innumerable forms, punishment in flesh, which is exactly what happened to my knee again yesterday. Riding bikes, it happens. I'm fucking salty. Bruised bones take like six months to fucking heal, and I was on my way there, and looks like it's back to square one here, but we have innumerable forms to completely fucking punish us in the flesh all the way through the healing process, which hopefully is just a couple weeks, because I can't fucking sit inside, like, my trails are almost done, just a lot of real life shit's going on, and... I hate being in this much pain and not being able to do anything about it except for smoke a little bit of weed and I'm hurting on money and I fucking hate that type of shit but it's whatever. Innumerable forms, punishment and flesh, awesome crushing death metal from America aka Boston just sounds like it's straight out of 1992 just oozing its way out of Finland but no oozing its way down from New England and so fucking good on Profound Lore Records. If you like death metal, there's no excuse. There is no other band right now that sounds like this. There's no fucking melodic fun parts. It's all just cutthroat fucking pure death metal. And now on the opposite end of the extreme music spectrum, Hails to Dennis in Florida for hooking us up. But this is Shroud Eater, Strike the Sun, which is some stoned out, sludgy doom metal hailing from Miami, Florida on Primitive Violence Records. And you get eight tracks of sludged out Sonic Excess mixed by Burial at Seas fucking Sanford Parker so you're getting great great production on here Sanford Parker is the man in my opinion to go to outside of the obvious like Billy Anderson and nowadays Greg Wilkinson when it comes to like recording some like you know stoned out doomy material but most of what Shroud Eater you know do are play sludge and they do it very very well but at the same time there's nothing really too special about this release that like grabbed me and was like oh yo this you know makes us stand out from like you know buzz oven or bongzilla or something like that it wasn't like that at all like the eight tracks just kind of Casually went by and uh, you know, I was getting smoked out a little bit while I was listening to it and It just I don't know. I listened to it like twice in a row Like lit and then like twice in a row like just like dead, you know sober and Yeah, like definitely some good riffs on here, but It didn't really do what I thought it was gonna do like with this like artwork and stuff it's so fucking sick like I'm pretty sure the cassette art is different than like the CD and LP art like cuz I think that's on their band camp for the artwork but I forget but it's fucking dope and uh, these eight tracks like I said they're really really like good sludgy doomed out fucking tunes but there's a lot of bands that do sludgy doom metal that just do it a little bit better. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying this is a bad release by any way. Like, this is definitely some good stuff. But does it stand up to, like, you know, a band like Weed Eater, for example? No. But does it sound like Weed Eater? No. I, I would compare this, like, maybe a little bit of toke meets, um, I'm trying to think, but 
anyways, I don't know. I, I would say, like, Toke meets... Uh, I don't even know. Another fucking just sludgy... It, it's kind of... It's kind of mediocre, to be honest. Like, it's sick, but, like, the fact that I can't even think of, like, an awesome sludge band to compare this to... That kind of, you know, speaks how I feel about this release. Thankfully, I mean, I appreciate it from Dennis, but awesome gift and stuff. The cassette sounds great. The mix is great by Sanford Parker. It's just, some of the tunes on here just didn't really do it for me. Like, they didn't make me, like, want to do anything except for listen to some fucking death metal or put the new Sleep album on, like, especially right now, if I want to listen to some, like, stoned out tunes, I'm going to listen to Sleep the Sciences. But Shroud Eater do their own thing, and that's what's cool about this, like, Strike the Sun, Florida Sludgy, Doom, if that sounds like it's up your alley with some female vocals thrown in there, and a little mix of Motorhead, maybe this is for you, but for me, th this really wasn't cutting it. But, it's definitely heavy when it needs to be, but like, it's just, I hate calling something boring or stock, but like, I kind of felt that way, but, I mean, uh, opinions are like assholes, so don't take my word for it. Give it a chance yourself, I'll put the link below, you guys can tell me how much of an idiot I am and how much you love this release, blah blah blah, but... I don't know, I, I really love sludge metal and stuff, and doom, and especially, like, stoned out sludgy doom, so... The fact that this, like, let me down, I was like, oh man, it's kind of a bummer, but... Tracks like Dream Flesh and, uh, Iron Mountain are just badass, but, like, some of the other tracks, like... It just feels like it's, like, kind of filler space, but... Nothing overstays its welcome either. Like, there's no, like, 20-minute tracks of, like, oh my god, please finish riffing out and jamming. Like, but none of that stuff. Just some straight-up, straightforward, stoned-out, sludgy doom metal from the swamps of Miami, Florida. Shroud Eater, Strike the Sun on uh, Primal Violence record, Primitive Violence Records. So, if that sounds like your thing, get into it. I'll put the Bandcamp link below to begin with. Well, to end with, I mean. Ugh! See, I'm like in so much fucking pain right now, I can't even think straight. But, yeah, Shroud Eater Strike the Sun. I I'm sorry, it just kind of fell on the mediocre scale of things. I'm gonna give this like a 6 out of 10, but you guys might like it. So, I'm gonna put the Bandcamp link below. Definitely give it a listen. If you dig it, cool. If not, eh, you know. It's, it's definitely worth a listen. and Because you guys might like it. Uh, it's just, right now, it's just really not doing it for me. And uh, still a great mix. Some great riffs. And yeah, just a pretty killer 8-track release. But at the same time, just, you know, kind of a swing and a miss. For me, personally, but... Oh well, Shroud Eater, Strike the Sun, get into it. Link will be below. We are blasting innumerable forms. Punishment in flesh. So fucking good. So heavy. One of the best death metal records of 2018. Also, I cannot wait. For the new Outer Heaven, they played um, another new track last night. Holy shit, just, just fucking wait. Like, it's so goddamn good. But, Punishment in Flesh by Innumerable Forms. Fuck yeah, on Profound Lore Records. And, yeah, we went over Shroud Eater, Strike the Sun on Primitive Violence. If you're in the sludgy doom metal with like female vocals and some motorhead parts at times, then definitely give us a listen because the Bandcamp link will be below. But 
as always, thanks for watching. Check out my live footage from last night. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of bummed that I couldn't have given this a better review. But I need to be honest with you folks. So, yeah, it didn't really hit where I thought it was going to. But still, thank you, Dennis. You're the fucking man. And thank everyone that's watching this. You all rule. Hopefully my knee feels a little bit better, but in the meantime, hills. <laughs>